I want to tell you something crazy, something extremely unorthodox, something that doesn't make sense, yet kind of makes sense. Something that is not real, yet we make it real. Or something with a twist, only made by us. Every day as we pass through our life, things happen. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. And sometimes when those things happen, we really sit down and ask ourselves, I wish I could have gone back. What I would have done if I could change the circumstance? What I would have done if the outcomes were different? Now those things are relatively impossible. No one can really change something based on the things they feel or based on how they wish things were different. Things happen at this moment right here, right now. We make those decisions right here, right now, but they affect us in future. And those things that affect us in future has kind of an alternate effect to our past. I feel hungry, don't have money. I decide to go rob someone. I rob that person right here, right now in the present moment. But then the effect of it is that in future, I will be incarcerated. I will be gone to jail and I will have to serve a time. And later on, when I come out of the present or when I come out of the jail, I suffer the consequences from my past. So by doing things right here at this moment, I'm not only altering my current present time right here, right now, but I'm deciding how my future will be and I'm deciding how I will feel in future corresponding to my past experiences. I won't be able to get jobs because now I have a record on file. I won't be able to do things because I have done something bad. Now, this is just an example. Now, stay with me. Now, what if I told you that there is a way that we can, as human, have the ability not to manifest something or not to currently sit down and imagine things to be different and change things, but we have the ability to control our time and sometimes travel in the future and in the past at this moment relative to ourself in future. This is something crazy, a notion that I, I believe can really revolutionize the way we look at our life and the things that we wish we have done or the things that we wish we had accomplished and the things that we wished we could have changed. Now, this doesn't happen to the things that has already happened. What has already happened has already made a little change into our brain and made a little change into our surrounding and it's already there. Changing those things are not possible because they have already happened. Unless you have those fancy time machine and you want to go with Einstein relativity concept and even go with different theories that are out there, you can't go in the past and change it. Or maybe if you're watching in the future this video and then somebody has invented the time machine, then you're in luck because you could change those. But right here, right now, in this century, in this moment, we have the ability to alter our past and our future based on our future outcomes. And the way that we do it, the way that we can make those alterations is for us, whenever we want to make a decision, is to allow ourselves, put ourselves in that situation that that situation, that decision has already been made. Hypothetically speaking, when I told you that I'm hungry right now and I want to go steal. So before stealing, it's a drastic movement that I want to make. It's a drastic movement. 
And this is so simple. This is this is not complicated at all. This is if I tell you this, you're gonna probably laugh and maybe click off of this video, but stay with me because sometimes the most simple things are the things that we neglect the most, and those simple neglection, those simple thing that has been neglected can have the most effect in our life to a point that can change our life from better or worse. So one thing that is important, when you wanna make a decision, when you wanna make a big improvement, when you wanna make a big leap, when you wanna make a big, whatever it is that you wanna make, sit down in a room and think that that thing that you were trying to do has already been done. Now, put yourself in your future self when that thing is already completed. Come out and then look at the result. So, I feel hungry, I wanna go steal, I'm gonna go sit down, it's a drastic move, it requires different things to happen that could have different consequences. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna think about it. I already stolen this. There are a couple of outcomes. One, I will get away with it. Two, I will get caught. Three, I might get hurt. And four, no one will notice. Now, I'm gonna pick up the possibilities of these things actually happening. Look at the life around you. How possible is it for these things to happen without having consequence? Some sort of consequence. Now, out of those consequences, pick the worst consequence that can happen to you. The worst consequence. I will get hurt and I will get beat. And then I will be placed in the jail for a year and a half. Worst outcome. And then I will be put on probation. Pretty drastic of we're stealing a bar of candy. But the goal of this is to facilitate a worst case scenario outcome to your mind. Now, once you facilitate that outcome, then put yourself out of that position. Come out to prison. Everything is fine. You haven't done that act. You're still thinking about it. You're still deciding if that thing was a good idea or not. Now, go take a drink. Go walk around for five minutes and just keep that thought in your mind. The result, the consequence, the things that will happen to you. And then, five minutes later or two minutes later, sit down in that quiet room that you presented for yourself or when you made your first uh, lapse to future. And now, think about yourself in future, thinking about your past. All those consequences has already been done. You already gotten hurt, you already gotten beaten, beaten up, and you healed, no worries. But then you come out of the prison, uh, prison, you come out of the jail, and now you're on probation, you can't do a lot of things. And then you're sitting at the curbside of the jail, uh, police station, and thinking about your choices. And you're telling yourself, I wish I would have done this, this, this. Now, think about those things that you wished you had done. Now, what if I told you this is traveling in time? This is putting yourself in future, and this is putting yourself in the past, coming to the present moment, and making the best choice for you right here, right now. Once I think about the worst case scenario, and the worst outcome, and how my life would change drastically, now at this time, I can make an alternate decision that doesn't lead to those consequences. 
This is the only thing you need to know. As long as you sit down with yourself, be true to yourself. This, this is the moment for you. This is not a moment for me because I, to be honest, it doesn't really affect me. There is a lot of people getting killed today out there. There is a lot of people getting murdered out there. There is a lot of people stealing out there. There is a lot of people doing bad things out there. Does it affect me in particular? Uh, maybe I will feel bad, I will feel sad. Maybe they will kill me. Maybe it will hurt me, but ultimately they will hurt themselves the most. So it doesn't really affect me. The person that it affects is themselves. It's yourself. You choose your path. And the path that you've chosen kind of makes those life decisions for you. And once those life decisions have been made for you, you're kind of stuck with it. So, travel in time. Travel to future. Travel from your future future to your future past. And see the decision that you're about to make right now, regardless of how drastic it can be, is it worthwhile doing? Or is it just a waste of time? Make those decisions in a way that when you're in your future, you're proud of yourself. And when you're in your future self, looking at your past self, you're proud of what you have done. What you bring on the table. And now once you made all those changes, now it's time to sit down and truly enjoy your decision. Know that you have made the right choice. That's all it that matters. The rest of it, it's nonsense. <laughs>